How to set up spheroid assay using confocal images. 3D cultures believed to have the advantage of better representation of human tissues, including architecture, organization, and cell interaction. There is increasing interest in development of 3D assays, but also the number of technical challenges. Technical challenges include cell culture, staining, as well as image acquisition and analysis. You can use low attachment, U-shaped or clear bottom plates from cornean or in sphero. That would simplify cell culture, compound addition and imaging. Cell aggregated the bottom of U-shaped wells to form spheroids, typically within 24 hours. This plate allowed centering spheroids in the wells, helping to capture entire spheroid in one 10x or 20x image. You can modulate size of steroids by changing the number of plated cells. Typically, approximately 1,000 cells per well were used. Variation in steroid size usually less than 10%. Imaging of steroids can be done with automated imaging system like ImageExpress Micro Confocal System. Plating and media additions are similar to regular cell culture. 3D assays present a number of other challenges. Some of those related to efficiency of dye penetration and washes. One step dye mixture addition was used to eliminate the need for fixing cells or repeated washes. Calcine AM was used to measure metabolically active cells, viability, and variety of morphological parameters. Hurst was used to measure total cell count and nuclear shade. Etidium homodimer was used to measure dead cells. Suggested concentrations shown on a slide. Another challenge in performing spheroid assay is the ability to image and analyze 3D objects. Common issues include difficulty of light penetration into spheroid, scattering of light by cells, and background from out-of-plane fluorescence, which makes images blurry. Confocal microscopy provides efficient background rejection and gives sharper images. Images should be taken using automated confocal mode with a large field of view camera. MetaExpress software allows modification the number of the planes and distance in between planes. Imaging system can effectively capture spheroids in a single image using 10x objective. At 10x magnification, you can capture 10 to 15 images with 10 micron distance, or more than 20 images with 5 micron distance. Images can be analyzed individually in 3D mode or this stack of images can be compressed into 2D image using maximum projection. The assay is reproducible, providing consistency of spheroid size and cell number, typically less than 10% in variation, and it is suitable for compound screening. In this example, you can see comparison of control spheroid to spheroids treated with staurosporin and doxorubicin. The analysis software can find spheroid, count cells within spheroid, and also characterize cells according to expression of different markers. In addition to cell count, you can determine morphology of cells, like area and shape, and also staining intensity for different markers. Analysis can be done in 2D, using maximum projection image, or in 3D, where individual objects are connected and matched in different planes. 3D analysis can define individual nuclei and cells, and also characterize cells and subcellular objects. The number of different readouts, including cell counts, volumes, and morphological parameters, can be derived through analysis. The numbers of live cells, the total area and total volume of live cells, and the average intensity of calcium AM had the best dynamic range and the best fit into IC50 curves. We present here IC50 curves for several anti-cancer compounds using the number of live cells in a spheroid. Test compounds can be ranked according to the IC50 for inhibitory effects, while the correspondence between spheroid assay and clinical data still needs to be established.